Welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, the Doctor of Common Sense. A man has won Miss Netherlands, and everybody's excited for it. Now, since he's won Miss Miss the Netherlands, because it's not even Miss Netherlands, it's Miss the Netherlands. A Mr. Warren, Miss Netherlands, and now he's going to compete for Miss Universe. Now, it's no coincidence that the person who purchased the rights to Miss Universe is transgender too. This is a setup. Did you see the pictures of Miss Netherlands? They had plenty of other women that was prettier than this, this fella. Did you see the teeth? On Miss Netherlands, that girl can eat uh, an apple through a barbed wire fence. This, uh, is she related to uh, AOC and the the uh, the manager or the uh, person who was in charge of the Bud Light fiasco, the marketing executive. Her AOC and this Mrs. Netherlands. They got a set of choppers on them. I'm just saying. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm just throw some ideas out there to you. This must not have been a beauty pageant. They need to call it something else then. So let's stop calling this a beauty pageant. I don't want to hear this about beauty is skin deep. It's a damn beauty pageant. It's about nobody's looking at. Well, it used to be nobody was looking at a beauty pageant because they were so damn smart. I don't want to hear how smart they are. If they're not pretty, they can't win a beauty contest. You can be a rocket scientist. You can be a brain surgery. It's called beauty pageant. Change the name, Dean. Now, what qualifications or what did this particular fella do better than the other women? Because we know it wasn't based on looks. Because it's all the teeth. Right, they're finna get ready to announce. Now, if the woman in front right there, there's nothing wrong with her teeth. They couldn't pick her, but they had to pick the fella. Now, the woman's going to act like she's happy for this dude win. Look at all them clapping. Oh, my God. This is so wonderful. Oh, my God. Let me eat an apple. I would like to eat an apple through a barbed wire fence. Oh, my God. This is so wonderful. Aren't you so proud of him? There he is, Mr. Universe of Netherlands, 2023. This is such a touching moment. I need tissue. Please give me tissue. On this particular individual and uh sure they're gonna get it fixed before they get to miss universe i think they have it in el salvador somewhere but now we find out that a fella they taking everything from you women and the women were applauding i'm sorry you got to have some kind of standards i'm not applauding you mocking me everything comes up they calling you birthing persons ministrators because you don't have a menstrual cycle because uh, they think that I guess men can have that, and they got the the men beating you in swimming, riding the bicycle. They got men beating that beating the hell out you in the MMA, and now they took the beauty pageants from you. Now I'm telling you right now, I'm not a shallow kind of person, but this is person should not win the beauty contest. It's called a beauty contest. Is this not what it is? A beauty contest? Well, let's change the name then. Let's call it a transgender contest. Of course he's going to win then. Call it something else. Did he say something smart? I mean, did he, did he juggle something? You're telling me that this fella with the teeth sticking out the mouth can't even close his mouth. I mean, teeth is pursuing so, I mean, coming so far out the mouth that uh, he technically can bite you with his mouth closed. Just saying. I mean, you said that being very, very... Unloving. I'm just going to call it call a spade a spade. It's called a beauty contest. And in a beauty contest, you got to be beautiful to win the contest. Not only is he not beautiful, he's not even a woman. Why are we calling this Miss Netherlands? It's Mr. Netherlands, if you ask me. You want to be politically correct? That's fine. I just don't play your dumb games. I'm not going to play your games with you. This is a dude. This is a fella. I'm sure he still has his package, too. No matter how much makeup you put on. You ain't even got the gall to go ahead and go full all the way with it. 
But in the Netherlands now, and the women, some of the women are applauding. They're applauding because they're afraid what may happen. You got to have some kind of standards. I'm, I'm almost a little sick of people talking about they had to compromise because uh, uh, they had to eat. Uh, I, I'm sorry. If, if you're not going to stand for anything, you'll fall for anything. I'm not applauding a dude beat me in a competition. Just not going to do it. We don't have any standards no more. That's what the problem is. All over the world. This is over in the Netherlands. Ooh, this is progressive. Clap, clap. Let's go seal on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, this is wonderful. He has won Miss Netherlands. Y'all should be insulted, actually, that a dude beat out all y'all chicks over there. Because, I, I mean, I saw some of the other women. They're a whole lot more prettier than than this 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 uh quote transgender person and they said that this is all oh, this is a breakthrough it's a setup i guarantee you if they were having a real beauty contest and the transgender hadn't bought the rights to miss universe i guarantee you this fella would have never won wouldn't be surprised if he wins miss universe they said this is a break this is this is great for the queer community really Really, and the person, the fellow who won, says that they want to strive to make sure people can be authentic. <laughs> you can't even make this. That's too easy for me. I'm not even going to, because it's too easy. You just throw me an alley-oop, boy. I'm, that's like throwing Sha Shaquille O'Neal an alley-oop under the goal so he can duck it. It's too easy. Authentic. I mean, uh, am I missing something here? Was you not born with a package? You were born with a package. You know what a package is, right? Not in the mail. No, not that kind of package. Different kind of package. You was born with a package, so therefore, you cannot be Miss America, Miss Universe, or no other kind of Miss Nothing. You can be Mr. Like Mr. Olympics. You can be that. I'm just trying to help you. I'm trying to free you. These people need to be set free, and that's what I'm here to do. Set them free. Miss America, Netherlands, you ought to be a shame of yourselves over there. Oh, I know we don't have no room to brag over here because we got a lot of this foolishness going on too. I just won't play along with your game. No, I believe in reality. I'm a firm believer in reality. Yeah, I'm a firm believer in biology. I really do believe in biology. I'm following the science. See, my conscience won't let me not follow the science. You know, I always like to do uh, my own definition of conscience. You've heard it before. I've said it before. Somebody's going to steal it from me. Con, C-O-N, science. Quit trying to con science. That's my definition of conscience. I'm not going to con the science so I can uh, have no conscience. Because you have no conscience because you have con the science. And the science says, survey says, uh, it's a boy. Yeah, that's what the doctor said. No, the doctor did misgender you. That's not what happened. Won't you stop cunning your science <laughs> and let your conscience be clear? 